it's the enormity of this racetrack makes it difficult to dry the track completely to them then have enough time to be able to complete the race and because of that this race will be run tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern. You can see it on NBCSN. So again the second race of the round of 12 playoffs will take place tomorrow again at 1 p.m. Eastern on NBCSN is where you will be able to view that and all right drivers so now you sampled the racetrack you were on it for about two laps the <laughs> rain came how as a driver do you mentally go home prepare for a race tomorrow now well it's frustrating because you know the track may be dry in a little bit but there's no not enough time to get this race in right and so you know that's very disappointing because you're like gosh we're so close and i think you know kyle petty made a point earlier is that with the, the schedules the way they are, right, with no qualifying and all that stuff, where do these teams go? Typically, they would be a plan. Things would happen. There's a lot of unknowns. Drivers don't have as many motorhomes like they used to. So now it's just scrambling. Like, okay, what are we going to do tonight? Right, you're kind of getting out of race mode now and just getting into logistics. Like, what are we going to do? Where are we going to stay? Are we going home? What's going to happen? you got to figure all that out. But I think now you've kind of pushed the race into the side and just figuring out what your rest of the day looks like. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating as a driver sitting here. No rain happening right now. You're thinking you got time in the day to to wait this track out, and, and we should be dry and going in another half hour to 45 minutes. But they're going to take these cars and push them to the garage and run this race tomorrow. So nothing you can change about that. So you start going and building that game plan with your team, spend time with them, talking about how you approach this race tomorrow if anything changes. Not to mention, disrupts the week. Still got the Roval next week. Right. Now you've lost your Monday for back in the shop. I mean, it's just one thing after another. Sunday night football. Oh, I mean, man. you know what? That's the positive, right? Man, I was hoping it. to watch it in you North gotta Carolina. You got to look for the positives. Well, I was hoping to watch it in North Carolina, but we'll find a TV here. I can't wait. That's right. Cannot the game. wait. Tom Brady back at New England to, to take them on. So the Buccaneers taking on the Patriots tonight on Sunday night football. Again, uh, Football Night in America kicks that off at 7 o'clock. Tomorrow, this race will try to start at, at 1 o'clock. Again, you will be able to see that on NBCSN. Uh, it's the second race of the round of 12 playoffs. You win, you advance into the round of eight. Uh, but there are so many unknowns that this race holds for these drivers, for these playoff drivers, uh, the contenders that are fighting to potentially have a championship in front of them. Denny Hamlin still has not been able to win a championship. He has numerous wins, uh, multiple Daytona 500 wins, but he hasn't won the ultimate prize in NASCAR, and that is the championship at season's end. Is this the year? Because he won a week ago at Las Vegas. He's locked into the round of eight. We will be able to talk with a few drivers as they are now out of the cars. We will do that when we return to Talladega again. Reschedule tomorrow at 1 o'clock.